Hi everyone, hope all of you are safe. Uh, we all are working from home and taking care of ourselves and that is the most important thing at this moment right now in the world. Um, I took this initiative to answer a few of the questions more which has come into the Ask Kutuma and generalize these questions in a, in, a normal, uh, in a normal format for all of you. And here it is. Uh, the question today which I'm going to work on uh, is a very generalized question. People have asked me a lot of times that how to stay confident in the difficult times we want. Now, uh, confidence is a very vague term. It is basically about the state in which you would like to be, a state which you have maybe accessed it before as well. So, uh, I would invite you all to do this exercise right now with me here itself. There's a specific place in which you would like to use confidence, isn't it? Uh, it could be interview. It could be managing a team, it could be talking to that special person whom you want to, or anything. Now, uh, this is what I want you to do. Find out the specific context in which you would like to utilize your confidence. Write that down clearly. And now, I would invite you to think about times in your life where you have felt confident before. There are many times in which you have felt confident. Maybe when you were just going around in your teens, when you were into your childhood or recently when you did something big or anything which was wow for all of you. So there is some specific places where you have felt that confidence, right? So go back to that specific context in which you have felt confident. Think about that. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale and think about it fully. How were you standing? What was your posture? Or how were you sitting? What was your posture? The way your body was. Starting from your head, the way your head was. Get that position. The way your hands were. The way your back was. The way your legs were sitting. The way your neck position was. The shoulders position. The eyes. Everything. I am asking you to do it specifically the way it was. Get into that position. Hold it. And now, I invite you to now also think about how were you talking? What was your tonality? What was your rhythm? How was your volume? What was your modulation? Your own pitch? There was some difference, right? And that's what I want you to do. Get that difference back. Get that language, get that tonality back in your voice. And you just heard something different, isn't it? So I want you to get that back. Hold that completely. And now do this together. Hold your posture. Hold your tonality. Get that back. Get that back. Get that back and hold your tonality. And hold it to yourself. And until it is hold, hold that. And if then there is a small shift which happens, okay, oh, there is a shift which happens, you can come back and again go back. Go back to that same posture, go back to the same tonality. Hold it there, hold it there, yeah. And good, keep holding. Okay, so I can keep holding, I'll have to come down for all of you. So as long as you can keep holding, keep holding it there. Which I am saying, what I am saying to all of you is that keep holding your tonality, keep holding your posture the way it is, the way you feel like. There was a certain feeling, isn't that which came? I want you to pause this video and repeat that five to six times to yourself. Repeat that five to six times to yourself. Which means, go back to your posture, hold it, get the tonality back, get the tonality back the way it was. Good. Okay, hold it back. Yeah, hold it and come back. You can repeat this five to six times. All right. So once you have repeated this to five to six times, now you know there is some specific posture which, which actually gets you in confidence. This is what I want to do now. I want you to now choose a specific trigger, a specific anchor. In NLP, we use a word anchoring, which means trigger. Uh, in a very simple language, I would tell you like it is a reminder to your own self. So I'm going to now choose a very conscious reminder. So in a conscious place where you are practicing it right now, I can choose a conscious reminder with my touch. I can trigger my hand. I can choose 
attach it with my with my wrist and i'm going to make it a little harder not a general not a common patch but a different unique pure patch and i'm going to touch it take it to the intensity and then again get back into the same state so i repeat i'm going to do touch any specific place where you want as a trigger this is a trigger for you so you choose a trigger any trigger which is going to remind you there is a reminder which you need isn't it you need the alarm clock so either you can use an alarm as a trigger you can that is a voice anchor or you're using a hand by yourself your own body as a trigger so you're using a hand i'm using my my right hand to my left over and here what i am doing i'm pressing it hard and creating a new unique special anchor i'm pressing it harder and keeping the intensity the timing of it for example 10 seconds i pressed it like this and then oh okay i need to remind myself to get back so what i'm doing is i am choosing a anchor i'm pressing it press get back that same posture get back the same tonality hold Okay, keep holding until you can and come back. Again, press. Press it harder the way you did it the first time. The same way. Get that same state. The way you talk. The posture tonality and come back. Press. Okay, now it's happening by itself, right? The same posture, same tonality and come back. Press. It's happening by itself. The same portion of centrality is coming back. Press with the same intensity, the same it was the first time. The same posture, same tonality coming back. This is what I want you to do. So, I repeat, I want you to go back to your times where you felt confident, number one. Number two, go into the whole body posture the way it was. Act as if hold it there. Number three, the tonality, the way it was, the way you spoke like, hold it there. And now as you do that, you repeated that five to six times and after that you chose an anchor or trigger or reminder we used touch as a trigger for ourselves and i used a right to my left and i pressed it pure you need press it with an intensity with the timing so okay this was the timing and then get that state back the same posture and the same tonality shrug it off again anchor get the state back same tonality same posture hold shrug it off again anchor same tonality same posture and shrug it off that's all exactly that's all now i invite you to utilize this before you get into the real context the moment you get into the real context just before that i want you to practice to utilize this and then get into the real context and test what happens to you in the real context while you do this you can also choose right now to actually see your future in your brain and see yourself utilizing this in visualization so you can see yourself pressing holding getting the tonality getting the posture back and utilizing this in your future in the way you do it ah okay and you can repeat it this is what you're creating self anchors by using touch in your own style in your own ways there could be multiple triggers which you can choose If you remember a Hindi movie in Salman Khan where he uses this uh, wrist and one, two, three, four, so he's using an anchor to control his own anger. You can apply it anything which you would like to do. Thank you so much for listening out here, and I'm sure this is going to be helpful. If there are any questions which you have specifically for this video, you can write it back to me, Rudhma at i dash flame dot in, or you can also go back to my website, Rudhma Dua dot com. You can go to my Insta handle with Madhwa NLP or my Facebook page if I Flame Consulting and with Madhwa and can leave a message as a question. Thank you so much for all of you and I hope that all of you are safe and secure and healthy and be positive. Thank you. Yeah.